This is a demonstration of the Open Seizure Detector app uh, running on a Garmin smartwatch and we're going to demonstrate how it will monitor the movement of the user's arm, uh, look for the classic vibration uh, um, move movement associated with an epileptic tonic-clonic seizure and then raise an alarm to a carer uh, using an SMS text message that includes the user's location so that the carer can, uh, can find them. So what we'll do is we'll start the Open Seizure Detector app and it'll do a self-check to check that everything's running and the watch is running on the, the, the app is running on the watch and then it comes into the into the main screen. Now by default the uh, SMS alarms are, uh, are disabled and the, so the user has to explicitly um, enable them and grant permission to, to do that. You can check that they're disabled by looking on the, the notification uh, on the screen which shows that SMS location alarms are, are disabled. To enable them, we go to the uh, settings, we open the main, the main menu, select settings, we'll select alarms, and we'll scroll down until we find enable SMS alarm there. It will enable that. Uh, and then what it does is it'll ask us for permission to uh, send and view SMS messages. Obviously, if you want SMS alarms, you need to be able to do that. So we'll press allow. It'll also say, can we access the device's location? And if we want the SMS to include the uh, user's location, which is realistically to be useful, that, that's what it needs to have, we'll also do allow for that permission. The system then just restarts following those changes. If we just go back a couple of screens, we're back to the main screen, and again, it's, uh, it, it, it's running OK. If we just look at the notification, we can see that there's now a warning for the user saying that SMS location alarms uh, are active. So it's quite clear to them that, uh, that the uh, app will send SMS alarms with the, uh, with the location. So I'll just put the, the watch on, because it's much easier to uh, simulate the right sort of movement with it on the wrist. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll just give the, sort of, the classic sort of shaking that we're looking for as far as a tonic-clonic seizure is concerned, which is that sort of movement of the wrist, where it's a few hertz movement. And when the system goes into a warning first, and then it will go into, into alarm after a few seconds of that movement going on. So the first thing it does is it sends a, a, a text message that just says there's a seizure detected, and it sends that to the carer. Uh, in, in, for, for this demonstration, I've got the, uh, uh, the, 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 the carer's SMS uh, phone number set to be the same as this device. So we saw the, the uh, alarm arriving there. It then takes maybe it's up to a minute while it uh, will... Uh, look for the location so i'm just going to set that off again and it, it, it takes a minute to look for the location and then it will uh, send a, a follow-up sms text message with the user's location uh, for the carer so the carer will receive two two sms text messages so if we just uh, wait for a, a moment while it finds its location we'll see another notification come up that, uh, that it's found it and then it sends a text message so there, there's a screen comes that says it's detected it, sends a text message, and there's the uh, the text message arriving. We'll just open that to see what it looks like. So you can see the uh, the text message has well, that's seizure detected. You can actually set that in the settings for whatever it is. You might want to have the user's name, but then it also includes a Google Maps link so that the uh, the carer can look to see exactly where the uh, the, the, the user is so that they can go and offer, offer assistance following their, following their seizure. So that's the, the system running using uh, detecting seizure-like movements uh, to um, detect, detect the seizure and then send uh, an SMS alarm with location to the, uh, to the carer. Thank you.